be presenting on how to use modals to give permission. Okay, before we start, let's review some modal rules. Modal rule number one, put the modal before the verb. For example, he can speak English. Okay, we, use, we put the modal can before the verb speak. Modal rule number two, change the verb into the base form. For example, she can have a car. Originally, we would have written she has a car. We use has because it's a third person singular. It agrees with the third person pronoun she, third person singular pronoun she. She has, it has, he has. But when I add the modal can, I have to change has into the base form have. She can have a car. Likewise, we change the auxiliary into the base form. So for example, he, we might originally write a sentence, he is driving. Okay, we use is because is um, is a third person singular once again. So he is, she is, it is, uh, my friend is driving. But when I add a modal such as may, then I have to change is into the base form of the auxiliary. So therefore be. Okay, so he may be driving. Rule, modal rule number four is to add not after the modal. For example, she could not drive. The modal could comes first and then the negation not. Modal rule number five, we move the modal before the noun for questions. For example, could she drive? Let's move on. So we talked, we're going to talk about permission. Okay, can, could, and may. Okay, so the modals for giving permission are may, can, and could. Okay. Um, so we use can, could, and may to ask for permission. For example, could, could I pet the dog? Can, can I pet the dog? May, may I pet the dog? Okay, so for example, this little girl wants to ask this teacher if she can pet the dog. Okay, can, and she's going to ask, can I pet the dog? All right, these modals, we use these to ask for permission. Um, which of these modals is most formal? Which of these modals is least formal? Okay, well... The most formal verb modals are may and could. Okay, these two are very formal. Could I pet the dog and may I pet the dog? We use can and may, excuse me, could and may when we are talking to bosses, teachers, strangers. Uh, can I pet the dog is least formal. I would say can when I am talking to a friend or a child or, you know, whomever. I just use can with with people who are at the same level as I am or younger uh, could and may for more formal situations. Moving on. Um, in formal situations, we can also add please at the end of a sentence or after the subject. So for example, original sentence could be could I pet the dog? The next, um, if I want to add please, I can add please after the subject. Can I please pet the dog? Please comes after the subject I. And we can add at the end of the sentence, may, may I pet the dog, please, at the end of the sentence. Moving on. If I want to grant permission, if I want to say yes, it's okay, then I just uh, use the modal without a verb. For example, could I pet the dog? Yes, you can. Can I please pet the dog? Yes, you can. May I pet the dog, please? Yes, you may. Okay. Uh, quick note again may is very formal um, don't use could okay we don't use could because it's used for unreal or for the past moving on if I want to deny permission we just negate the modal without a verb okay for example could I pet the dog no you can't okay don't use couldn't again uh, next can I please pet the dog no, you cannot. And may I pet the dog, please? No, you may not. Um, don't use mayn't, doesn't exist. Instead, always use may not. Okay? There is no contraction for may and not. Moving on. Sometimes we can use other expressions to give permission, to request permission. For example, use do you mind if, instead of a modal of permission, if the request is inconvenient. Say, for example, you know, originally this boy wants to ask his mom for the keys, okay? She wants to ask his mom for the keys, okay? So she might, he may say, may I borrow the car? But maybe the mom needs to go to work that day, okay? So he knows that his request is inconvenient. His request is difficult to, 
to grant okay so he might say do you mind if i borrow the keys do you mind if i borrow the car okay so the request might be granted let me give you another example maybe this boy doesn't have a pencil and this girl has a pencil but this is the only pencil she has this request is inconvenient okay it is difficult for her to say yes you can yes you may so he's gonna ask do you mind if i borrow a pen or a pencil okay mind it means the same as do you hate it if i borrow do you hate it okay mind is almost like does it bother you do you hate it okay um so make sure that the noun and the verb agree so for example do you mind if do you mind if we borrow the car okay we and the verb borrow they agree but if i change we into he then i have to change the verb borrow into borrows okay because the noun and the verb must agree remember he borrows she borrows it borrows uh my friend borrows but we they we they i you borrow okay the noun and the verb must agree with do you mind um if i want to grant permission i answer no so for example do you mind if i pet the dog no i don't mind it's okay to pet the dog okay um this is because well i'll get to that later if i want to deny permission i answer yes so for example do you mind if i pet the dog yes i do mind he doesn't like it the reason you one way to think about this and i mentioned this before is mind is similar to hate it's like do you hate it if or it's like bother you does it bother you if okay if you think of mind as hate then you can see why no i don't mind means yes you can it's like no i don't hate it okay so yes you can and yes i mind yes i hate it means no you can't all right it's one way to understand this um there are other expressions for granting permission sure no problem of course certainly not at all we use not at all with do you mind for denying permission sorry and i'm afraid okay these expressions once again they soften negative responses okay so if i'm gonna say sorry but i do mind or you know i'm, I'm afraid but yes i mind okay um there are other formulaic expressions that we can use such as do you mind if i can pet the dog would you mind if i pet the dog would it be okay if i pet the dog i was wondering if i can pet the dog okay so we can use other expressions not just do you mind um so to summarize use can could and may to ask permission to give permission use can and may without a verb to deny permission negate not the can and may and don't add a verb without a verb don't use could to either deny or grant request using cannot can't and may not might be rude instead use other expressions to soften negative responses okay um use do you mind if instead of a modal of permission if the request is inconvenient to grant permission answer no no i don't mind yes you can means the same as yes you can't to deny permission answer yes yes i mind means the same as no you can't this concludes my presentation thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any thoughts questions or concerns please drop a comment have a nice day